Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with another one of the ridiculous letters that TV licensing think it's okay to send you. And this one is another one that will get sent to you if you happen to tell them you don't require a license in what they called a no license needed exemption. Now, apparently, that cuts down on all the letters and cuts down on the visits, but I don't see any evidence to back up it cutting down on the visits because they reckon one in eight people falsely declare no license needed. So they must send somebody out just to make sure you don't need to buy a TV license, who definitely isn't incentivized via commission to try and stitch you up and sell you a license. So this is one of the letters they'll send you out if you do that. It makes you wonder, what's the point telling them you don't need a license, eh? Please confirm your details before this date. Previously, you told us you didn't need a TV license. We don't want to contact you unnecessarily, but we are, that's exactly what we're doing. But it's important our records are accurate and up to date and so we write to people when we think they may have moved. That's why we'd like you to please confirm one of the following. So yeah, two important points to pick out there, I think. One, they don't want to contact us unnecessarily, which is exactly what they're blooming well doing. And two, they want to make sure you haven't moved. But they sent the letter to the old address. Doesn't make, make a lot of sense, because if they have moved, they're not going to get the letter, are they? So they want us to confirm one of the following. If you have moved, update your details at blah, blah, blah. If you haven't moved, confirm you still don't need a license. It makes no sense. If I haven't moved, I don't need to talk to you, do I? What happens if we don't hear from you? If we don't hear from you, we'll assume you have moved and we will have to treat the address as unlicensed. By getting in touch, however, you can ensure that your details are correct and we only contact you when necessary. Like, for no reason whatsoever, because you think we've moved. What's given you the impression that we've moved house? I don't understand it. I don't understand this letter at all. So regular viewers of this channel will know that I have encouraged people in the past to complete the no license needed exemption. And I still do, but only if they have your details. Now, this letter actually applies to me a little bit here, because I am moving, and I currently do the no license needed exemption. But when I move, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to inform them at all. The reason I did the no license needed exemption is because at the address I was at, I had a TV license there a long time ago in the past anyway, so they already knew who I am and they knew that I lived there. But when I move, they don't know I live there and I want to keep it that way. And they can just keep sending their crappy red letters that are supposed to be scary to the occupier at my new address because... I'm not going to go telling them. But if they already have your details, there's no reason to not really do the no license needed exemption. It used to be good because you used to get a lot less letters. Like I say, you still might get a visit, but you get a lot less letters. But now they've started sending out stuff like this, and the video I did the other day as well, that was a letter for someone who had a no license needed exemption. So they're green letters, not red letters, but they're still nonsense. But at least this one isn't trying to force you to pay anything. I can't really see anything here that's forcing you to pay anything, so that's quite good. And they've got a box here letting you know about how you might need a TV license. You need to be covered by a TV license to watch or record live programs on any channel or to download or watch BBC programs on iPlayer. This applies to any device. So it's not that scary, this one, and there's proper truthful information there. So it's not that bad, it just seems very unnecessary. And if you are moving and you currently do no license needed exemption, I would advise you to not do it at your new address and don't give them your details. Don't give them details. I'm not going to. You know, you don't have to have a TV license and you don't have to talk to them and you don't have to do the no license needed exemption. You don't have to have any contact with these people. And once I've moved, that's what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, obviously not the worst letter they send out, but I just think it's funny that they still send you letters even if you told them you don't want a license, you don't want any contact with them. So uh, it's just interesting talking about the letters <laughs> they, they write, and they spent millions a year on these letters. So I just thought it was interesting to talk about it for a minute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you get any letters and you think I might not have covered them, because I've done pretty much all the letters now, you'll find a playlist below. But if you've got one you think I haven't seen, you'll find out how to contact me below as well. And I look forward to getting all your emails. I do try and read them all. I do get a lot. But I do try and read them all. So you can do all that, and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.